everyone welcome back to savvy adventures i wanted to give you a little update video and i kind of wanted to reveal what i am standing by so let's take a look so this is one of my newest purchases it is a honda super cub 125c and it is the 2020 model i purchased it last august brand new and i love this bike it's such an adventurous ride it's really adorable and I just love the uh, color palette they chose for this. It's really beautiful. It kind of goes back and gives some nostalgia of some of the older models. One thing about this bike, as you can see, the tires are a little bit smaller than other motorcycles. So of course it gets a little wobbly once you get to about 50 miles per hour. But other than that, it's a really smooth ride. Um, I have taken it down a bunch of back roads, but I have yet to reach my goal of driving it down Highway 90 um, on the Gulf Coast Beach. There's quite a few people that speed over there, so I'm a little worried about it. But other than that, I have customized it with a rack so far. And um, my dad owns a body shop, so we actually got a trunk painted, and I'm going to go put it on today. Uh, we were gonna do the classic red color, but it seemed a little harder to match the paint. So we're actually gonna do this nice pearly white color on the trunk. So I really cannot wait to see what color it turns out to be and hopefully it fits right and everything. The really cool thing about this bike is actually that it has no clutch. So instead you just have the brake on one side and then just a handlebar over here. It is a lot nicer for newer riders or riders that don't wanna have to worry about getting the shifting just right uh, this thing shifts into four different gears and all I have to do is kick back on the back pedal to shift up and of course to shift down with this front pedal here. So it's a lot easier to use as opposed to learning like a stick shift for a car or other motorcycles that have a clutch. But we are going to go take it to the shop and go ahead and install the trunk. So let's go. So they had a hard time matching the red at first. I think it's got a couple of crystal colors in it, so it's really hard to match this more blood-toned red, I think. Um, so we ended up painting the trunk more of the pearl color, and I think it turned out absolutely great. Uh, the color matches really closely, so I'm really happy with it. When you open it up, it's got enough room in here for two helmets. And the trunk even came with like a back seat or a seat rest and a top rack to put on, but I decided to hold off on both of those for now. Um, as you can see, it's really spacious, so I could probably fit a backpack in there as long as it didn't weigh too much. But I am really happy with how it turned out. It's got a cute lock back here, so I can lock all of my stuff up while I'm riding. Um, and then the way they fastened it actually worked pretty well. We didn't want to really get the plate from um, the automotive place I bought the bike from. It was a little more expensive, so we kind of found an alternative way to do it. But I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, it was a smooth ride back over here. Really happy with everything, and hopefully I can show you guys some more videos of me actually riding around with it now that I can carry all of my things and backpacks in the trunk. So, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. 
and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.